Republican state lawmakers had their say today as well. Senate leader Steve Orojo and Assemblyman John DeMeo holding a joint press conference immediately following the speech, criticizing Murphy as a tax and spend governor. Here's what they had to say. It's become more, more expensive to live here, strictly, be, not strictly, but mostly because taxes are too high. Nearly 200 school districts lost more than $185 million of funding last year. That doesn't help property taxpayers in New Jersey. The governor failed to mention that second quarter GDP was negative. Does he want to take credit for that too? Our plan rolls back inflationary costs levied on income taxpayers who are paying more than ever. By indexing the tax brackets for inflation back to the year 2000 would create a permanent, sustainable, built in the system, $1,600 a year cut in income taxes to a family earning $110,000 a year. And that's real money that would stay in their pockets, not something like another rebate, which we have now that could dwindle and fade away in the next recession. Something that people could rely on to keep the money in their pocket to fight back against the high cost of living in New Jersey. It would eliminate the $50,000 tax bracket for joint filers, creating a marriage tax penalty into the tax code. Just, just because people are married making that amount of money, they have to pay more taxes. That's a simple one. That's an easy lift. It should be done in one bill right away. We also have a pandemic-related learning loss in our schools that the Murphy administration refuses to address, and made worse by school funding cuts that Leader DeMeo had spoke about the hundreds of school districts enacted by the Democrat legislative majority. Instead of focusing on improving student achievement in reading, writing, and math, Governor Murphy and Democrats have politicized our schools by injecting their radical ideologies into state education standards, which ends up being a time-wasting distraction in our children's classrooms. Parents are upset, and rightly so. They feel like they have been denied a voice in their children's education, and they have been mocked and chastised by Democrats when they've come to Trenton to express concern. Those parents deserve to be heard. We also have a major crime problem in many of our communities, including soaring rates of car theft. Our crime problem certainly wasn't helped by Governor Murphy's early release of thousands of inmates from our prisons or restrictions he and Democrats placed on police that prevent them from stopping rowdy mobs of teens who are visibly, visibly breaking the law. Despite the rosy picture Governor Murphy is trying to paint, the state of the state is not good. And after five years of the Murphy administration and two decades of full Democrat control of the legislature, the outlook for New Jersey continues to get worse.